Hey, this is Vanessa D. Berlay here and welcome to my channel where I teach you how to take your passion and turn it into profit. Today, we're going to talk about social media planners. Do they work? And does posting and scheduling on Hootsuite, is that going to save me time or is that going to create me more time? Because every time we go out and get another tool that's supposed to save us time, sometimes we find that it takes more time. So in this video, we're going to reflect on five different topics that you can, or questions you can ask yourself about your social media posting and see if what you're doing is making you a profit or is it wasting your time? I know that when you're first starting out, trying to get yourself out there and especially as an influencer you want people to know who you are and you're trying to push your content many people spend a lot of time on five or six different platforms and then they find that that's all they're doing is posting on the platforms so whether you're only posting on one or if you're on several this is going to benefit you to decide will it benefit you to have a social media planner and when you start using it are you going to be using it effectively so hopefully this is going to help you iron out some of those things and we're going to just dig in and ask five different questions that we can reflect on so get a notebook pen paper so that you can write these down and maybe reflect on them later the first question I want you to ask yourself is what am I doing that is working for instance do you have a good schedule in place or are you just randomly running to your computer computer and trying to get all your posting in do you have some kind of a system in place is it working for you or are you feeling exhausted so sit down look at everything that you're doing within your business where and especially with the social media planning and is what I'm doing working or is it wasting my time the second thing I want you to think about is who are you targeting you probably have heard this a lot of times like who is your audience who is it that you're targeting with your message with your content but are you targeting them that's what I want you to look at you probably already know who you want to respond to you're doing healthcare and fitness and maybe you're targeting women over 40 are you really targeting them look at your audience that's responding and some of your engagement is that the audience that's responding to you are you doing a good job of targeting them you may find that you're you're getting an audience of women that are closer to 30 or 40 and maybe you can change up some of the things that you're doing but the point is make sure you know who you're targeting and then dig in to your social media platforms and make sure that's who you're attracting number three I want you to look at all your platforms and decide which platforms are not working maybe you're posting on Facebook and you're just not getting any engagement nobody's really responding to any of your posts maybe it says you have 2,000 followers but nobody's really responding is that a good use of your time is it bringing in views on your YouTube channel or is it bringing in views to your blog that you've made or is it just sitting there taking up your time so go into each one of your social media platforms and see are they working number four where am I wasting time and it's really going to be a kickoff from number three you're going in to find out what is working well what am I doing that's wasting time am I posting on Instagram and posting a lot of quotes and things and yes that makes your Instagram look pretty you might have really pretty images and lots of positive coat of quotes but is that really a good use of your time is that drawing in that audience that you want to see your content and to look at the product that you're trying to sell so as you're looking at what is, what is not working look at where am I wasting my time you need to go in and look at those posts on each social media platform it's not always just about the number of followers it's how those followers are responding I don't care if you have 10,000 people following you on Instagram but if nobody's responding and nobody is re wanting what you have and maybe you're not attracting the right audience then it's really a waste of your time number five look at your competitors or those people that you admire I I know we call them competitors but I always see them as my influencers the people that I look up to that's going to help me to grow because they've taken that same journey that I have always look at what they're doing listen to them now while we're all not going to have the same journey and we're all not going to do the exact same thing it's still good to follow those people and see what your competitors are doing and what's helping them become successful because remember as you're learning and trying to figure this out as you go forward they're trying to figure it out too they were down there wherever you are right now and didn't have a lot going on they started at zero like you did 
And now they've built this empire, but they're still figuring it out because there's always more and more and more to learn. So watch your competitors, see what they're doing and follow. Now, a lot of these questions are gonna help you refine and focus the way you're using your time. And I wanted you to go through a lot of that reflection before you start using a social media scheduler or planner. Because if you're planning, posting things on your platforms that aren't getting you any results, then it's only gonna waste your time and your money to get a social media planner and then post them on there all, you're really not going to get any results. So now what is a social media planner? I'm going to use Hootsuite as an example. Now I've made a video, a review about Hootsuite. You can look at it here above. And basically it tells you what it is. What you do is you can sit down in one day and schedule out all your posts for the next 30 days for the whole month. You can take one post and put it on several different platforms and you can schedule them out so that the, the, scheduler will automatically schedule them out for you. I'm going to put a couple more videos above where you can compare Hootsuite to some other social media planners. And then you didn't need to just pick the, the one that's going to meet your needs. When you go in and start comparing, I don't want you just to look at the price. Obviously on any tool, when you pay more, you get more. If you're not really into looking at the analytics yet, then you're probably going to start with one of the bottom platform memberships and just start there and start using it and see if you even like it. All right. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.